Have you ever considered how often your mind wanders away from the present moment? We're all guilty of it, aren't we? Letting our thoughts drift to past regrets, future worries, or just daydreaming about what's for dinner. But did you know that this mind wandering, this mental time travel, can have a negative impact on our mental health? It's a common occurrence, so common that we often don't even realize we're doing it. And yet, this lack of awareness, this disconnection from the present moment, can lead to feelings of anxiety, stress, and even depression. Enter the concept of mindfulness, the practice of being fully engaged in the present moment. It's about grounding ourselves in the here and now, acknowledging our thoughts and feelings without judgment. It's about embracing the power of now, the power of this very moment. Because you see, now is the only time we truly have. The past is a memory, the future is uncertain, but the present, the present is real, tangible. So the power of the present moment is not to be underestimated. But don't just take our word for it. Scientific research backs up these claims. Let's delve into the science behind the power of the present. Numerous studies have shown that practicing mindfulness, which is essentially focusing your mind on the here and now, can significantly reduce stress and improve mental health. One Harvard study found that people spend around 47% of their waking hours thinking about something other than what they're currently doing. This mind wandering, as it's called, is associated with feelings of unhappiness. When we're lost in our thoughts, we're often ruminating on past regrets or worrying about future possibilities, both of which can lead to stress and anxiety. On the other hand, when our minds are focused on the present, we tend to be happier. Our brains function differently, more efficiently, and more positively. The same study discovered that people reported greater happiness when they were fully engaged in their current activity, no matter what it was. Science, it seems, is on the side of the present moment. So what have we learned? We've explored the power of the present, the now, the only moment we can truly touch. We've dived into the science science behind being present and how it benefits us physically, mentally, and emotionally. We've learned that embracing the now can help to reduce stress, enhance our mood, and even increase our overall life satisfaction. It's clear that the present moment holds immense potential for fulfillment and joy. But how can we tap into this? Mindfulness is the key. By incorporating mindfulness practices into our everyday lives, we can learn to stay grounded in the present, to truly experience each moment as it comes without judgment or distraction. Simple actions, like focusing on your breath or paying attention to the sensations in your body, can help anchor you in the now. So let's put this into practice. Let's make each moment count. Remember, the present moment is all we truly have, so make the most of it. Let's get practical now. How can you bring mindfulness into your everyday life? Start with simple steps. When you wake up in the morning, take a few moments to just breathe. Feel the sensation of your breath entering and leaving your body. This is you in the now. When you eat, eat mindfully. Savor each bite, feel the texture, taste the flavors. Don't just eat, experience the food. When you're walking, don't just get from point A to B. Feel the ground beneath your feet, the wind on your skin, the sun on your face. This is mindfulness. This is being in the present. And don't worry if your mind wanders, it's natural. The key is not to judge or get frustrated, but simply to notice it and gently bring your attention back to the present. This is a practice, and like any practice, it takes time. So be patient with yourself. Remember, mindfulness is not about achieving a certain state or feeling. It's about paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It's about accepting and experiencing each moment as it is, allowing it to unfold without trying to change it or wish it away. It's about being fully present in each moment of your life because this moment right now is all we truly have. This is Life Lessons. Thanks for watching.